Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a haul video for you guys. I have a few bits and pieces from a couple of different shops at the moment. Not a lot, so I thought I would do a bit of a collective haul. So I will film these bits and pieces first and then as I pick up things, Christmas is coming so I might get a few things, um, as I pick up things as I go, once I have enough to actually make up a, a full size haul, then I will post this video. So I bought these things just the other day. We're at the end of November as I'm filming this portion. I'll show you these bits and pieces I got from Daiso just recently. They're only a few little bits and pieces. The main thing I got was this elegant shimmer. It's kind of like embroidery floss or just a soft twine. So it's glittery as you hopefully can see. It is nighttime so my lights aren't brilliant but hopefully you can see it well enough that there is silver glitter shimmer throughout that. So I've got the white colour the mint colour and the lavender. So there we go, they all have that glitter through them. Really cute, there's heaps on there, so I thought I could definitely, I don't know whether this is going to be good enough to actually hand stitch with, but um, it will be nice as twine anyway. And it was only $1.80, I think, everything from Daiso is that price and less uh, otherwise marked. So I got those three and I got, you might think this is a bit of an odd purchase. It's a kitchen spatula that somehow is really, really dirty but it's a silicone spatula and i got this mainly for my glass bead gel if you've ever used that you'll know using a hard scraper it just kind of moves the beads across your page or across your stencil wherever you're trying to uh, apply it but if you use a silicone spatula it like mushes them in nicely so i just grabbed a kitchen spatula i didn't want to pay like 20 30 dollars for a, a mixed media spatula because it's essentially the same thing um, in my opinion but this was only a dollar 80 it's cute it's pink i'm happy with that and i picked up these card rings they had heaps of these little um, snap rings in different sizes so that's uh, really handy considering uh, i find these really hard to find these days so they're just the little snap rings that you make mini albums from. So these were the smallest ones they had. So I grabbed them. I thought they were super cute. Look at the size of them. They're really small. So uh, I thought that would be really nice for making little teeny tiny mini albums. They're the 20 mil one and you get 13 in the pack for $1.80. I think that's a really, really good bargain. And then last but not least, I got these drop stickers. So they're teeny tiny little raindrops and they're kind of like a clear enamel so they're they're hard like a, a gloss semi-transparent dimensional sticker i thought these were really pretty i have a really good idea of how to use these okay so that's all from daiso next i have a teeny tiny order from scrapbook.com just got a few things because i had a gift card so i just went up and up to my gift card limit and that's it <laughs> i spent that and i think 80 cents on top of that so i was really well behaved so when i placed this order all the tim holt stuff was on uh sale so i grabbed i think it was 20 percent off so i grabbed a few things first thing i got was an atg refill not interesting at all really boring actually but necessary and i got a tiny attacher i'm really excited about this one i do not have one of these i have been thinking about getting one for a while it's got to the point where i've like i'm really getting frustrated with not having one and yeah so i just decided to get one so i did i got him and then i got a refill box of refill staples as well then i grabbed some distress oxide ink pads because i don't have any of these either i have lots of distress inks lots of those but um, none of these i hadn't jumped on that band wagon yet so i was having trouble deciding between these and the the sprays and the mists um, i will get the inks uh the sprays at some point as well but i thought i would just grab some of these to try so i got whoop, peacock feathers seedless preserves and picked raspberry and then they also were running a promotion that weekend that every order over a certain amount got a free random color choice of a distress oxide ink pad which was perfect so of course i popped that coupon code in and i got chip sapphire which goes really nicely with these four colors actually so whoever popped this in my order at scrapbook.com thank you so much <laughs> it wraps itself a bit oh my goodness it's so little hey look at that oh perfect that's cool. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, I'm going to put another one in just in case, just so it doesn't 
go anywhere. Not because I want to keep playing with it or anything. Not that reason at all. Okay. Okay, I am back. I have a few storage bits and pieces. If this is going to be boring for you, I apologize, but I went to Ikea yesterday. So <laughs> of course I have to share the bits and pieces I got. So I got two of these big, big storage tubs. They're really re reasonably priced. I think they are $6 each. I have a few of these already, um, but they don't have this cutout side thing. So I think that's new, but I really like these storage tubs i like the size i yeah i just use them a lot i like that they have handles they're really versatile i like them a lot so and my husband broke one of mine just recently when um he was packing up my stuff for retreat um because i was in hospital he had to go and pack up my stuff and he put a few too many things in the tub and when he picked it up the handle broke so otherwise they're, they're really really heavy duty but i can imagine he just put way too much stuff in there so i have to replace that I'll still use the broken one. I'm not gonna throw it out because I hate throwing out plastic, but um, it would just go like in the garage and be utility, not in my craft room. <laughs> so I've got a couple of the smaller versions. I really love these. Again, same thing, just a smaller version. I think they were $4 each, really reasonably priced. Okay, then I got three each of the little, I've taken the tags off, so I don't know the name of these, unfortunately, but they're the little dishes that everybody uses. They're really nice size for ephemera they're smooth sided on the inside so they don't have sharp corners which means you can sort of scoop embellishments out more easily i find if they have sharp corners on the inside it's really hard to kind of dig things out because they get caught and the bottoms have these little rubber things as well i think they're supposed to be for kitchen storage but they're just so good for embellishments and these little babies aren't they sweet they're little i think they're meant to be candle holders they're metal and they have these little foam feet on them. They were in the Christmas section and all the Christmas stuff is on clearance at the moment. So they were 80 cents each. How cute are they? Really nice little size. So yes, I bought three. Um, I think I'll keep two and I have one for a friend in case, yeah, they might like one. So they were 80 cents. I thought I'd just grab a few. The next thing I bought is this baby. I realize I'm far too zoomed in for you to see this properly, but it is the Fiala, I think is pronounced. my other bits and pieces out desktop on organizer so this is what it looks like from the top it is made of card i believe but it's very sturdy and it's riveted so um, yeah i think as long as you take care of these they stand up to the test of time and i got the gray uh, they had white and gray there i chose the gray of the white because i just thought it would get less grubby over time so that's from the top and then my tripod's in the way now. You have this handle here. Again, it's reinforced with some metal. So a big bit in the back, a bit of a smaller section in the front here, and then you have four even smaller sections again right at the very front. So yeah, you can kind of see, kind of see how that works. I'm sorry, this is not the best camera angle for it. But basically what I got this for is to store the kit that I'm using at the moment in. And a lot of scrapbookers use this um, organizer. It's not, uh, not anything new, but the reason it's really good is because can fit a 12 by 12 right in the back here you can fit an 8 by 11 or an a4 in the front here and then you can fit smaller pieces embellishments in the very front so yeah that's um that's what that's for and you can see it all it's all up it's not stored flat in a box where you can't actually uh, see anything on the bottom it's all there you can flip through your pages at the back here easily yeah I really um, really wanted one of these for a while so and all the stuff in here I have also just bought so I'm going to share those with you as well I got these from Kmart really cheap I think they're three dollars each round about that price anyway 
in the kids craft section so there's always um, some fun little bits and pieces in there if you have been through the like the scrapbooking craft section and not finding anything that tickles your fancy definitely go check out the kids section especially certain Kmart's one of my local ones has a really big kids craft section so I found these there so I got this metallic paper pack I went looking the other day for some uh, metallic paper for some, a specific project and I couldn't find any and I realized I don't have any metallic paper in my collection at the moment so when I saw these I just grabbed them because yeah there's heaps of colors a whole bunch of colors there's some silver some gold and some uh, rainbow colors in there there's some holographic some kind of like mandala effect really cool different effects in there so yeah um yeah and a few dollars for a big chunk of metallic paper so happy with that then I grabbed this how cute is this little mixed glitter pack it's perfect for making shaker pockets and things like that so mainly just to supplement uh, my bigger sequins but I mean there's so many little teeny tiny so they're kind of that perfect mix between a sequin and a glitter really cute and it was it would have been about three dollars alrighty next I have some planner goodies so this is these are from Natty Planning I bought a few of their um, Hobonichi sticker kits uh, because they're pretty <laughs> and I have one of the Hibonacci inserts from Natty Planny so I want to I want to try it out even though I have already got my planner for this year but yeah I want to have a play with it and kind of show you guys how these um kits work so I got the planner life weeks kit so pretty this has to be one of my top three kits that Natty Planning has ever released the planner life kit I love it it's beautiful so there's your first page Every days of the week and a few strips some checklists flags functional stickers these cute little boxes i love those this big functional sticker and a couple of habit trackers and then the second page is like bottom washy i guess <laughs> i kind of don't know what to call all these stickers it's um it's a totally different format a bunch of these full boxes <laughs> and another sort of large washi down the bottom some weekly checklists some headers well, they're more like script stickers and headers and some icons so yeah heaps in that little little kit really cute they're in matte vinyl and this is the same but it's the floral bliss kit so again pinks and mints my favorite colors beautiful florals really pretty i also got my well i got my pentester sheet i got my freebie which is the script stickers, the little natty characters and some bows. I have heaps of these and I love them. Then I also got a Black Friday freebie sampler because I ordered these on Black Friday. Beautiful sampler. So some big full boxes, some more beautiful bows and some of these girls. I love those. And then I got a sheet of these natty not today's <laughs> because yeah. So I love those as usual. Natty Planning's stickers are amazing. If you're ordering, check the description box. I do have a 10% off discount code. Okay, now these little bits and pieces are just some cute goodies from Mumsy and Bub. I didn't get a planner this time. I just got a, I mean, I have enough, let's face it. So I just got a few bits and pieces from them. I got some new elastics. I got this, I guess it's powder blue. I'm not sure what any of the names are. I'm sorry, but the light blue elastic, really pretty. And then I got a deep purple okay we have business cards as usual then i have some really really oh just cute 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 things so a couple of these flat lay stickers how gorgeous are these really big sticker i'm definitely going to put some of these in my new planner i think for decoration but oh, just how gorgeous are they i cannot get over how stunning those are i think this would fit really nicely in a hobonichi too actually maybe that's what they're actually for but mm. <laughs> i'll use them for anything then a beautiful beautiful planner and this is really cool because uh, my lilac mist is all galaxy themed and it has like stuff like this in it so just really cool I really like that some more flat lace stickers just in a smaller size absolutely beautiful little planning desks I just love them they're really simple but they're just so so stunning cute little bookmark look at him <laughs> so cute okay, really pretty journal card I love that floral beautiful soft purples and mauves love that and then a sheet of stickers so these are ocean slash mermaid themed i have some full boxes some headers some half boxes some little scripts some kind of like blank full boxes appointment labels and then a strip of washi love all these goodies they're so so pretty again if you're placing an order make sure to check the description box because i have a 10 percent off code for mumsy and bub as well Kaisercraft. Went in there to get the Oh Happy Day collection, one of the newer collections they released um, in December and it was all sold out. They didn't have any of the paper left and I'm not going to buy the rest of it if I can't get the paper. Like, yeah. <laughs> 
So I went to leave and then I checked the discount section and they had quite a few things. So um, these alphas I got full price because they're only $3 anyway. $3 for a full sheet of alphas. They're the natural color. I really like them. They're kind of like a craft. If you get up close, you can see they've got their craft texture on them. Really like those. I use these alphas a lot. They're not super sticky. Um, you do have to add a little bit of glue on the back, but I really like the size and the font. I find it really easy to use. So I like to have those. A couple of stamp sets. So this is the class of 87 stamp set and both these stamp sets came in at $5. So I mainly got this for the lines. I really like the lines um, for journaling. So yeah, I grabbed it for that, but there are some cute other cute ones in here as well. This is a like a my report card stamp. This is a label with like name, subject, grade and school, which I mean, that would be handy for the school books, I guess. Uh, but I think it's cute for like school layouts as well. And you can also just sort of layer this end underneath other things and just use that as a journaling spot which is what I will probably do quite a bit. Um, this says star student well done and great work and then the little rosette and then this set is from the Fleur collection. I love this collection actually. Uh, when it was released it's quite old now but they have the stamps so I grabbed them. They're just a bunch of really beautiful script titles. I've got Grateful You're Amazing, You Plus Me, Hello Just For You and then you have this big XXO heart and a little laurel banner so yeah I can definitely get a lot of use out of this. I really like this script font really nice okay and one paper pack it was the very last one they had it was kind of tucked underneath a few things i only just saw it on, as i was walking past and i pounced on it because i really liked this, this collection but i never got any of it so it's the paradise found collection i'd say it's relatively new it was released in 2019 last year uh, but it was on sale for 7.99 for a pack of 12 papers and the sticker sheet so i think that's pretty reasonably priced I'll quickly pull them out and show them to you. It's a nice big floral and absolutely adore this soft blush and white background paper. A palm tree sky scene and then a wood grain. I oh, adore that. It's just stunning. This one is just a soft cream with some, it's kind of like craft or cork polka dots on it. And the reverse side is kind of like a linen texture with a big floral. This one is just blue and grey in stripes, not anything particularly interesting. Really like that leaf though, that's really pretty. Another large floral, very pretty. I love the peachy corals and the mint green in the background. And then a bokeh kind of beach scene, that's really pretty. I really quite like that. Then this one is, this one's cool. You could just build a big cluster in the middle here and call that page done. All these beautiful palm trees and the wood grain, I like that. And then a soft minty green with some negative space uh, monstera leaves all over it. Lovely. Really like that colour, that'd be a good background page. And then the sticker sheet. So you may notice I have the same alphas <laughs> here that uh, are on the sheet that I just bought. Not quite the same, so that makes me feel better. But um, when I first peeked inside the pack and saw these, I was like, no, <laughs> why did I buy those? But they are slightly different, so that's okay. <laughs> Turn it on the side, I think it's meant to go that way. And then you have some large strips. So these are mainly just uh, border strips, I guess. Um, I find some people, some people say they find these hard to use, but I actually quite like them. I rarely use them in a full strip. I will cut them up a lot and layer them, and I find them really easy to use that way. And these would make really nice titles if you just cut this apart and same with this so um yeah if you're stuck with how to use these big 12 by 12 strips just chop them up definitely makes them easy to use i fussy cut a lot of them out as well so like i could fussy cut these little footprints out probably won't but you know <laughs> some of the bigger things like this flower and this leaf i could definitely fussy cut out hey there welcome back i can't even remember what i last hauled it's been a, a little while and I was doing really well not spending, so I thought I was done, but then I bought a few things. So I'm pretty much spent out now. <laughs> I'm out of cash. <laughs> I had saved up a bit, but yeah, it's all gone now. So I need to go on a no spend now. I'm going to show you what I have here. I'm going to, I do have another order coming to, uh, I've ordered some vinyl, so I'll probably share that with you. And then that's going to be it because I need to, need to take a break. So, uh, the big thing, the main thing that I spent most of my money on is this beauty. 
I'll insert a photo here because it's way too big to stick under my camera. It's a, uh, a new Silhouette Cameo. Well, it's new to me. <laughs> it's the Cameo 3, which is not the most recent version. It's the uh, version before that. It is pre-loved. Well, it was pre-loved. <laughs> it's mine now. I got it off the Facebook Marketplace. I got it for a really reasonable price. It was less than half the price of what a new Cameo 4 would be. So it was kind of a no-brainer. I'm really pleased that I managed to get that um, for a really good price. It's in beautiful condition. It's barely been used. It, yeah, it was a good price even for a secondhand one. And the condition it's in, I'm, I'm super, super pleased. So that, that was most of my budget gone. But I, I did also pick up a few other crafty bits and pieces. So I will show you. Now I popped into Kaiser Craft. I just wanted to get some clear gesso because uh, my white gesso has been yellowing a little bit. So I wanted to get some clear just for my white cardstock backgrounds. So I did get my clear gesso. <laughs> So I got the thing I went in for. Uh, it's just the Montmartre brand. Uh, while I was there, I did also grab a few bits and pieces. I thought I had a stamp set as well. Maybe I'm thinking of my previous visit, but I thought I had a stamp set. Well, it's not here, so I mustn't, I must, maybe, maybe I picked it up and put it back. But anyway, this is what I got. I found these in the clearance section. You can see the little yellow tag. They were on sale. It's an older collection. It's the Breathe collection. It's all blush pink and navy. I really liked it when it first came out, but not enough to go and spend full price, I guess. <laughs> so when I went in and saw these, I thought I'd get them. <laughs> so this is the 12 by 12 paper pack. I do like the paper packs over the paper pads. Paper's a bit thicker, it's double-sided, and you get a bonus sticker sheet as well. So there's two of each. There's usually 12 designs. Um, and like I said, you get two of each, so yeah that's nice i really love that pink palm leaf on the reverse side there this navy stripe so just lots of varying shades of navy and blush pink that's pretty cool I'm not such a fan of that one looks like wallpaper that's a nice background page. Really like that spot. And then the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So you get a half a page of alphas, which is awesome. Um, they're pretty much exactly the same as their individual alpha sheets. So you get the lowercase and the uppercase and all the numbers. So it's nice to get those. I'll move that off to the side. Okay, I also got the sticker book. I'll just flip through this quickly. So I hate this live, laugh, love. It's been so overdone and it's so trite. I'm just, oh. but the individual words can be used as part of a title, which I'm quite happy to do. I'll definitely get a use out of those. I love the florals and the feathers, of course, this title down here, two sheets of those. A page of washi strips, which I always really like. These as layering pieces, two of those. Some more florals, some more titles. Another one of those border strips. Then some phrase sentiments, some square ones and circular ones, and some banner ones. I like how they mix up the shapes like that, makes them a bit more versatile. And then some little just um, pattern banners down the bottom. Another big title, like another one of those strips, some more phrases, arrows, florals, and okay, so last page is these tiny little tile alphas, which I really love. These are really good for subtitles or even for um, short journaling sentences. Some phrases, some numbers, and some tabs. And then you have some just some little labels down the bottom. So two pages. Super duper handy. And then I got the die cuts, of course, because why not? So I'm just going to pop those out. Don't usually do this, but I will for you guys. So some florals, some tags, some hearts, some banners. Oh, some nice big titles there. So I'm not going through too carefully, but yeah, I like those script titles, a bunch of those banners and words, arrows, that. Banners, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff. Feathers are pretty, I just like this color palette, it's really soft. Butterflies, really soft and delicate, but the navy means I can use it for a boy. And I like collections that are versatile like that. Pop those back in there for now. It's really hot here today. I am trying to whiz through this as quickly as I possibly can. 
Okay, next thing, I popped into Spotlight to get some vinyl and they didn't have the vinyl I needed or any transfer tape. So I gave up and ordered online, but of course while I was in store I grabbed a couple of things. So these are alphas I used on my Scrap the Boys uh, layout, the January, February challenge. <laughs> Would have gone up on the 1st of February or the 2nd of February. Um, I used these as my like subtitle, I guess. Uh, I really like the font. I got them as a gift uh, in a like a retreat gift. And uh, yeah, I really liked them, and, but I only have the one sheet. So I, I thought I'd seen, I knew Jenny B collection was a brand that Spotlight stock. So I thought I would keep an eye out for them while I was there and they had some. So I think they're only $2.75 or $3.75, not expensive. They're less than $4 anyway. So of course I grabbed a packet of those for backup. I got these thickers, they're on clearance. I love when they have the thickers on clearance because they're half the price. <laughs> So these are the jewelry box. I'm sure I've seen these on clearance before, but I haven't grabbed them. Um, yeah, I just, the font's kind of, I don't know, I, it's not appealed to me before, but now that my son is getting older and I'm going to be doing more kind of kid-based layouts that aren't baby layouts, I like that it's kind of a bit whimsical and yeah, kind of funny like that. That kind of looks like a smiley face, doesn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Gosh, I'm such a child. Okay, so yeah, um, I just think they're, they're really cute. They're kind of like a poop brown color, uh, chestnut it says. So yeah, yuck, but um, they're chipboard so I can just paint those quite easily with some acrylic paint or some ink. Next, I got the very thing I said I wouldn't buy when I grabbed this collection. Some paper from the Maggie Holmes Crepe Paper Sunny Days collection so I said I wouldn't buy any paper I didn't at the time I was very well behaved I was very proud of myself and now I have gone and spoiled that by buying the <laughs> six by eight paper pad but um it wasn't too expensive and I am kind of getting low on the paper that I'm using in that kit but I still have heaps of die cuts and sticker stickers <laughs> left so um and the chipboard as well I think so I have a lot of the collection left but I'm getting kind of low on paper so I am scrapping my honeymoon album with this collection and it's um eight by twelve basically 8x12. So I thought if I got the 6x8 paper pad that would help supplement my paper stash and I can just put some more um, like A4 sheets in there and, and call it good. So everyone's probably seen this already. Um, I did like that there was uh, some foiled papers in there as well. I'm so going to fussy cut this whole sheet out and that one as well probably. So this is why, I don't know, I, I, I try not to get the paper but then half these I'm going to fussy cut out and have heaps of I love that paper. I should have got that in 12 by 12. But anyway, um, what was I saying? It's golf world. So I'm probably going to fuss cut half this out and use it as ephemera anyway. So I don't feel too bad about buying this. Honestly, I'm pretty at peace with this decision. <laughs> uh, I'm really, really, I really love this paper pad. It's beautiful. Okay, second last thing, I do have that vinyl order coming, but um, this is all I have for now. So yeah, no more money spending for a while. Went into the reject shop, always a bad idea. I just went to pick up some school stuff, some back to school stuff for my son, and this is what happened. So I just need to stay away from the shops, clearly. I got some of the Stabilo uh, pastel highlighters in the swing cool <laughs> design. So they're just kind of like longer more like a pen not a fat little short highlighter and they've got the the tip that you can flip over and do a thinner line with so i kind of like that um this is these are for my planner but they're they're a pretty pastel highlighter okay so apparently the reject shop is now doing uh, um, i'm not sure whether this is rosie studio i'm sure it is but usually they have the rosie studio collections and they brand it as the craft store but this stuff it says oh happy day but there were three different designs for each Thing under this collection name so there were three oh happy day paper pads pads they're packs but all three different designs but the same oh happy day name same with the ephemera and same with the stickers so i'm confused on that i'm not sure whether these are rosie studios collections or not one of the die cut designs is old i have it already i've had it for probably a couple of years and it's exactly the same as the one i already have so yeah i'm, I'm confused as to what's happening there but i got these i don't have these so I got them. They're pretty. I like them. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? All right, so I got the uh, paper pad. It's this design. It's like all the pastels. And this is something new. So usually they do paper pads and not, not packs like this, and they certainly don't do individual papers. But it looks to be the same as the paper pads where they have one sheet is the pearl 
and one sheet is the flat. So you can kind of see, can you see that pearl finish? Yeah, it's definitely like lustery. And then the second design is just a flat design. I don't know that, whether you'll be able to see the difference on camera, but you'll just have to trust me if you can't see it. So it's single sided, super thin as usual. It's just as thin as it normally is. So the paper is exactly the same. I think they're just doing it in packs instead of pads, which is good. I like that because being such, such thin paper, when you tear it out of the pad, it tends to rip in half half the time. So yeah, I do prefer this. This is really pretty. It's kind of confetti, kind of like ombre effect. I've got to say, I don't love the pearly paper. It definitely changes the color. You can see that one there is more peach and that one's more pink. It's a definitely a bit of a different color. Strappy. Pink stripey. I don't know what you can see. See, it's got like a bit of a pinstripe to it. Floral. So very pastel. I mean, very boring. It's just, I have a little girl and I'm super girly myself. So this is kind of like a cream with a geometric pattern. This one's pretty. I like watercolor blobs. Hexagon geometric. Look at the pastels. Oh, it's so pretty. I love pastels. It's just, they have my heart. What can I say? I mean, they're probably really boring, but... I just love them. They're so easy to use. I love them. This is pretty. I love that color combo. More puppet up. So pretty. I love that. <laughs> it's just the sort of thing that makes my heart happy. That to me feels like a really old school scrapbooking paper. Do you remember like some of the really old school ones from like 10, 15 years ago? I still got a couple in my stash so I'm probably never going to use, but I don't know. <laughs> love that one. See, this is how this is how I like my rainbows. Pastel. <laughs> I could definitely use that. I am going to have a lot of fun with that, actually. That's just like a plain cream. Blech. Yuck. Boring. Text. Chevroni one. I like that, actually. It's really plain, but easy to make a layout with. Some more water, colory, splashy. Really fun one, that one. And some lemons on a powder blue background. Pink lemons, as you would expect, all cool and normal. Now we have the sticker pack. So it's not a sticker book, it's a sticker pack, which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like this is just going to end up in loose sheets and get lost, but let's zoom in a little, no, that way. First sheet is a bunch of phrases. Yeah, you've got a few little kind of icons. You've got some labels down here, some hearts and some arrows. I really like those. All gold foiled, pretty foil. Some banners, some phrase banners and some circles. Again, gold foiled. Some more of the same, just the same sort of thing. Some text, phrasey ones. I like this notebook kind of page. And then a page of titles, which is what swung me really for this one. I just love, they're all gold foiled there all like colored around the outside and they're cut so there's no there's no white border which yeah makes me happy pretty sure that pack was three dollars i'm not sure how much the paper was they didn't have a price on that i'm not gonna open these cardstock stock cuts because there is 76 in there which is actually less than usual but there might be some big ones in there um considering they're about four dollars i'm not really worried but there, there's always heaps and there's a bunch of teeny tiny ones as well there's two of everything usually in these collections so there you go you get a bit of an idea it's kind of i feel like it's eastery springtimey maybe even a little bit saint patrick's day themed because it's got these shamrocks and it's got like good luck up here and i thought i saw a horseshoe or something but I might be mistaken on that, but you have these little bunnies as well. So uh, it's kind of made me think of Easter, but you also have a bunch of florals. You have this little fox and the hedgehog and the squirrel and the deer. I couldn't go past those. They're just too, too freaking adorable. I love the teacup and all these other little bits and pieces. It's just really, really easy for me to use. There's some titles in there. I grabbed some stickers as well. They had these crystal stickers. They were a couple of dollars. So I thought, why not? They're kind of, they're not puffy. And they're not like enamel they're kind of like a clear epoxy and they're glittery and then i got these hearts as well because um same deal most of these are solid they'll be easy to use there's a mix of like pinks and reds but then there's also some blue in there for my boy layout so yeah and then the last thing i got is these uh journaling stickers so i got these for my planner i mainly got them because they've got the the numbers and i like to cover up the numbers on my monthly spread just because it makes it look a bit prettier um, and there is 
six of these sheets are all the same but that does give me 12 full months of date dots for my layouts and they're the like this mint green and this pink are the colors I use basically all the time so I like that and then I like these tabs as well um, I think I were three dollars really good value all right so that's it for now stay tuned for the bunch of vinyl I have ordered hopefully uh, I think it's shipped so it shouldn't be too long and that will be the end <laughs> that's gonna be everything for now <laughs> anyway okay guys so I've just got back from doing a school run I've just made a coffee I'm gonna quickly show you this stuff and then I'm going to retreat back into the aircon because it is hot today so my vinyl order came in and I also went into office works <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me I need to be stopped no, but seriously, the stuff I got from Officeworks is stuff that I have had on my shopping list for a while. Whenever I am next near an Officeworks, I was going to go in and get this stuff so I don't feel too bad about it. Didn't spend too much there, but still, um, I keep saying I'm going to stop spending and yeah, I don't. So after this stuff, there is a pen order. <laughs> I may have bought $60 worth of pens. <laughs> And I have a huge order coming from Natty Planning, but I'll probably do that in a separate video because uh, there's a bunch. There's inserts, there's kits, there's functional stickers, there's a lot, so. But yeah, I, I swear I'm done now because I have no money left. First thing is transfer tape. This is boring, but you kind of need it if you're gonna be doing vinyl, so. Excuse my phone, sorry. So I've got a meter, a meter, yeah, of this. I didn't buy a whole lot of vinyl because this is gonna be my first kind of foray into it, so I don't wanna buy like rolls and rolls of it and then it not work for me. It's kind of a waste of money. So I just bought a few that looked interesting. So I bought a couple of the transparent glitter. So these are all from Scats Cats, by the way. Um, they have these kind of like transparent glitter vinyl. So it's glitter on a clear background. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, excuse my nails. I got the silver. This is meant to be hollow silver. I don't think it's hollow. Um, I'll have to sort of see once I get it on top of something, but it just looks kind of plain silver to me, really. And then this is the rose gold. I think it might be called rosy. And I got some metallic, so I got a rose gold, kind of like a brushed finish. It's not a super, like, chrome. Then hollow. This is pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at that. You can definitely see it a bit better in real life, but it's really sparkly and pretty. Then I got a few of the opal sheets. So I got the gold opal, which, um, yeah, it looks a lot more gold on camera. Hey, hi. <laughs> looks a lot more gold on camera, actually. I'm trying to get it so you can't <laughs> see all the reflections of my stuff in it. But yeah, I think in real life it's really quite yellow. It's very brassy. Then I got the, I think this is the blue one. This is amazing. It's got like a purpley pinky blue shift to it I don't know why I'm even bothering to show you these to be honest because camera's not picking up the colors <laughs> yeah it's really hard to show because it's like a light shifting um, vinyl like I said it is opal so you can kind of see the pink there yeah so there's bluey pinky purples in this one really really pretty wherever the light changes you get that different color gorgeous and then this one is the pink so this is probably yeah so you can see it shifts yellow when you turn it but then it's pink really pretty kind of pinky yellow yeah this one's really pretty too so I'm really pleased with these two in particular they're super pretty in real life so that's it just those six styles just to have a bit of a play okay so from Officeworks I picked up two pens these are my favorite pens at the moment I take the refills out and put them in my um, other pens because they are by the same manufacturer so it's the Pentel Energel in 0.4 so these just unscrew like this and then these ones unscrew at the end so it's just a screw pull out the refill so i just take the refill out pop it in my nice pen okay next thing i grabbed is this album <laughs> so it i just put normal A4 page protectors in these and use them as scrapbook albums. And it saves me a lot of money because uh, eight and a half by 11 scrapbook albums are very expensive. I like the print, it's pretty. I always keep an eye out for the printed ones. And next I bought this watercolor pad. It is 300 GSM. It is very similar kind of texture to the Vicky Booten paper. Very, very similar texture. There are 12 A3 sheets in here. Let's 
have a look at these. These are all from Spiegel Mum Scraps. Seven packets of sequins, which is exciting. These are actually a prize. I won their Spotlight Sparkler search for the month of January. So I did two layouts for them. They're up on the blog if you want to go have a look. And they said this was my prize pack for, for winning that. So first we have Walk in the Park which is going to be really fun for autumn because it's a mix of greens and browns and there's a wood grain in there, which is super awesome for me because I do live in the subtropics. So in autumn, everything's still pretty green. There's some navy, oh, it's more like a royal blue actually in there. There's some gold, there's some glitter. I really like that color mix. Next we have amethyst geode, which is just, you know, perfect for violet photos. <laughs> Very girly, lots of purple, quite a bit of pink in there as well. There's some little square pink ones, there's some little light blue ones, a few black. What else? Those, those pink ones are kind of, they, these flat sequins are kind of holographic, so they change colour as they move, which is really fun. Alright, this one is called Snippity Snip, which I was really confused about at first. I'm like, that's such an odd, an odd name for sequin mix, but there's little scissors in there, <laughs> little scissors sequins. How cute are they? I just thought that's hysterical. So apart from the scissors, there's also some black ones. There's some little black love hearts. There's some white and kind of grayish silvery cup sequins. There's some little silver hearts. There's all these little silver holographic stars, which are stunning. I'm going to use so many of those. I love teeny tiny sequins like this. Then we have this Let Sparks Fly, which is super fun and colorful. Um, definitely reminds me kind of of Disney a little bit be really good for a kids layout you've got that bright red black bright blue and they're both kind of holographic and then you have these kind of I'd say they're more like a brass than a gold and then you have those white ones in there as well really fun little mix next oh this one's new year's eve you have these big holographic really pretty look how pretty those are some pink ones some glittery pink ones some white hearts in there some black and white and sort of smaller semi-transparent pink ones super cute really pretty. You can definitely use pink. It's my favorite color. Then we have movie night. This one is super pretty. It has some of these uh, purple ones that are in that amethyst mix. We also have some black, some light blue, some of these little iridescent cup flower sequins. They're really pretty. And these kind of gold, different little mix. I like that. And the very last one is Happy Vibes, which is so pretty. I love these fan sequins. They're so cool. Lots of pink in there. There's a bit of orange, a bit of light blue, a bit of navy, some little flowers in there. Really, really pretty. I love those colors. So I am set for sequins for a little while. <laughs> anyway. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.